can probably see by the intro that I'm ripping off, I mean paying homage to the Escapist magazine again. I already did this one for a game called Nation States, and that video I'm gonna link in the descriptions. So, I was actually thinking about making a sequel to that and this video for a couple of years now, and I finally came in and so here we go. Concludes is a horror game. Where you play as Michael, who got a message from his long lost wife from a city called Hell in New England. Considering they're in America, name is fitting. That was a joke. Now, everybody presumed his wife was dead or something, except for Michael, who knew better. And you might uh, wonder why am I so hung up about this one horror game I played several years ago? Well, because the horror game is fucking amazing. Let's just draw some parallels with the few horror games I played recently. That being We Went Back and Golgotha, which I both loved. We Went Back and Golgotha have far better graphic, but feel somewhat more barren. I don't know how to explain this, but there are jump scares in those games. Maybe there's no real danger in either of them, but just the existence of jump scares and loud equal scary sometimes kinda takes them down a notch compared to this game. Not saying that this game doesn't have any loud uh, sections, it does, but more often than not, it does not, which is something that these two games fail. And the only game I would uh, rank higher than Conclus is Cry of Fear, for one single reason. Cry of Fear has one premise. You're a guy in a messed up situation, you got a gun, shoot everything. Concludes has the premise of you're a guy in a creepy town. That's it. And there's nothing actually chasing you the entire game. There are a few scripted uh, situations, but there is no combat until one point in the game, which is one of my main gripes. Well, when I say gripes, I'm not gonna say those gripes are major because I completely forgot about most of them until I went and rewatched my old playthrough of the game. But this is the one I remembered. And that is the fight you have in this game. The fight scene is executed very well, you need to use your saves to actually get around it, I'm not gonna spoil exactly how, go play the game. Seriously, go play this game. Another thing this game does that makes it so amazing is the atmosphere, the sheer horror atmosphere of it. The low poly aesthetics, the creepy town, the choice to highlight important objects by putting static sounds and visuals on them, and the choice that besides that one boss battle and a few cutscenes, there's no jump scares in this game. The game lets you go by your own pace, and you actually get rewarded by, for exploring. How? You find quarters. Quarters you can use in telephone boots. Yes, the game was made in a time where telephone boots were still important. Don't hold it against it, because those telephone boots are one of the biggest upsides of this game. They take what is otherwise a sentient camera on stilts, walking around, exploring the environment into a character, which has a family, you can call your mother, who asks you for a postcard, you can call your friend who is house-sitting and watching over your dog, and you can call your wife, that never answers, so you have to wonder if she just picked up and left, and accidentally sent you a text, so now you're chasing her. This is another major reason why this game is better than We Went Back and Golgotha. You have a character, just like Simon in Cry of Fear. You have somebody with motivation, and if that is not rare in horror games, I don't know what is, because most of horror game protagonists are just someone in creepy situation going around for no apparent reason, what the hell is wrong with you? Now that I mentioned all the good parts, there are two more gripes I need to mention about this game. First and foremost, there is the inventory system, which is not alphabetical, chronological, or a secret third thing you, a mortal man can comprehend. And the main gripe I have is a section where you have to solve a certain puzzle to get a vault passcode. That for some reason has 20 characters. <laughs> Thank you.